new beginnings, new adventures and new experiences. That is exactly what I'm expecting going forward for the next 10 months. And believe me, it's like entering the madness of medicine. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Subhav Ramnani, currently an intern in Delhi. And today I will be taking you along with me for the starting of a new chapter in my life, internship. I start by getting up at 6 a.m. in the morning. It is very hard for a night owl like me, but you have to make some changes for the growth to take place correctly. These changes that I did were not overnight. They were gradual. I planned these three, four days ago. So my body will find it easy and it will be good for me when I, you know, wake up in the morning. So next up, after finally waking up and getting like 30, 40 minutes of my, you know, bed to chair time where I you know do my morning routine so I got up and did some studies and for studies I chose practice questions because I know if I choose something like you know watching lectures in the morning I will fall asleep right there on the table because I'm not used to getting up early so one part is when you are developing a habit of getting up early try to do something where you are using your brain actively like doing practice questions that's way that way at least i managed to stay awake so finally it's day one day one of a lot of new habits to be formed day one of officially first day as a doctor you can say day one of for a lot of things day one for waking up early in the morning from become uh, from being a night person to becoming a morning person to having breakfast shakes in the morning lots of day ones today and i feel nervous excited everything mix of emotions for today so let's see how today goes and i'll see you at the internship until then i'll do some anki because i still have time to leave about 15 minutes finish my breakfast and yeah let's go for internship And then it was time for me to leave for the hospital. So I got fresh, packed my bag with all the necessary things. And you guys want to know what secrets my internship bag holds? Then comment down below and maybe soon we'll have a new video of what's in my bag, internship edition or something like that. Just let me know. Since it was the first day, I had to go to the HR department first and do some official paperwork and all for joining the internship and then had to go through a fitness test which include like blood work, some medical tests and all in order for me to be fit to join the internship and yeah, after that I joined my internship. So first thing after joining the internship, I met uh, assistant medical superintendent of the hospital who allotted me with my first duty or posting you can say and it was emergency medicine for a total of 15 days. Emergency medicine ward or the casualty as you call it and I met all the doctors there and they were happy you know enough to uh, have me on board with them and I know I'll be working with them and another few doctors who will you know come in for the next days because as you know emergency medicine is something which is on 24 7 and the shifts keep changing there are different doctors different times so they were happy uh, to you know get me acquainted with everything with uh, the emergency ward with the machines and everything so no staff was uh, pretty good and they helped me with my you know procedures and everything but more about that later after that uh, an intern showed me around the hospital for some time because you know it's very important to get to know the hospital where you are working um, and that makes the you know the surroundings a bit familiar and maybe you are more confident in approaching the patient when maybe you don't know where you are and not comfortable with the surroundings there is a sense of hesitation on your face also when you know you're seeing the patient and when seeing the patient i feel uh, we should act 
more confident uh, and we should be like yes we know what we are doing even though i am an intern i need to be supervised with a doctor and i actually might not be knowing what i am doing because i'm still in the learning process but uh, getting myself familiarized with the surroundings was a good way to start and get that confidence and soon in no time the cases started to flow in initially it was a little tricky since everything was new i was unaware of many short forms uh, doctors use which are very basic for me right now like you know adr norad uh, age afi all these terms were very alien to me like i knew these terms but i did not know them as short forms as they are used so yeah the doctors the staff was very helpful and one thing i would say that being an intern you have this golden opportunity to ask anyone anything because you know uh, internship you are not expected to know many things and people are doctors and the staff are ready to help you but once you are a doctor and you are getting paid for the job you are expected to know everything so when you ask the stupid questions which you asked during internship that might not look very great uh, and might not project very good on the you know attendant or the senior doctor present there so yeah as an intern ask the stupidest questions you have because this is the golden time uh, where you can learn and i for sure did ask many stupid questions and yeah this is a learning process and i'm ready for it so the cases started to come in and we did the work but when i had some leisure time i would take out my phone not to go through reels but to do my anki cards you thought i forgot about anki i cannot anyway during the lunch break too i met some other interns had our lunch together asked them about their posting what are they doing and specifically i am interested in medicine so i was very inclined to ask my interns how is the medicine posting like what are you expected to know what are you expected to do and stuff like that so it was a very you know curiosity filled first day for me uh, i was asking my interns a lot of co interns a lot of questions and maybe i pestered them a bit too much uh, with all my questions so yeah uh, after lunch it was pretty much the same routine more cases uh, through the emergency department and yeah pretty much it and i was done with my internship and it felt like a breeze but it also felt a little bit overwhelming because i am not used to this but all in all day one of internship was a very wholesome experience i can say so by the time my posting was over i was very tired and i had very very less energy left in me so i came home grabbed a bite and took some rest so i'm back from the hospital and i'm very tired i had chai and you know some snacks some pre workout uh, because i need to work out now and i know i'm pretty tired but i want to build a habit as i said today is the start of building new habits and obviously first few days it feels like a you know resistance but if i build it now then it will be easier to carry it on so yeah time for workout after some time and yeah let's relax now this rest was really needed because after this i had to get myself ready for my workout So here's uh, this thing I follow in my life. So there are certain things which are irreplaceable in my life. Uh, one of them is like you can say Anki for in this stage of my life. Uh, Anki equates to studying. So even if I don't study anything, I have to do my Anki. Uh, one other thing is uh, workout. So obviously I don't work out every day. I try to work out. So I am not perfect at it. I you know try to work out 5 days but it usually gets to 4 days but now in internship i've decided that at least 3 days a week i have to work out i take i need to take care of my body apart from all the hustle bustle i'm doing um in my life generally so taking care of my body is uh, kind of a non negotiable at least 3 days in a week so yes day one only i start to build this habit i am going to work out even when i am during my internship i am going to study even during my internship and i obviously i am going to be working in the hospital during my internship so the day is pretty filled and busy like this so now i was no longer a human 
with the amount of exhaustion my you know body and mind went through because it was just day one of internship i'm not used to this morning routine i'm not used to working for long hours standing for long hours the life of a medical student is very difficult from an intern so it was good and as a zombie i had my dinner and just went to bed straight away had no problems in sleeping i slept instantly like you know i was sleep deprived for days because i was so tired and yeah that was pretty much it day one of internship the whole day went pretty great and yeah that's about it and see you in the next uh, story time vlog like this and until then stay safe stay happy and stay mad but just about medicine